Okay guys, so what you're going to need for this recipe, very simple, just a little bit of ingredients. Today I'm going to use this um, New Orleans style fish fry. I never tried it before, but actually I've tried it once, but it was a different kind. They have a lot of different kinds. So I'm going to use this one this time. I have onion here. We're just going to use a little bit of that. Two eggs. My fish here. This is flounder. I'm going to fry some flounder today. We have some, this is my secret ingredient, y'all. So do not say ill. I'm telling y'all right now, do not knock it until you try it. And I'm going to show y'all how I use this. But you're going to need some mayonnaise, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. I'm not adding any more salt because this kind of has a lot of salt in it already. So I'm not going to add any more salt. So first, in my bowl, I crack my two eggs in there. And what you're going to do is add your mayo to this you're going to add it into the bowl with your eggs so i added my mayo now again do not say ill i'm telling you do not say ill it's going to be really really good this is my secret ingredient apparently it's a southern thing i don't know but um it's really really good like this you're gonna love it trust me and believe it or not a lot of people that y'all buy y'all fish from like these takeout restaurants they do this with their fish you just don't know how they make it but th they add mayo to their batter so that's just a little just in case y'all didn't know that is what they do so you're gonna mix this all up just like this when to get it as smooth as you can So now what you're going to do, let me take this out. What you're going to do is add all of this into the bowl with your fish. So just pour it on in. And you want to mix that up. Now mix. And get that all nice and coated. Trying to be careful to not break up my fish. Was add my garlic powder and my pepper directly in there with this. This is just to give it a little bit more flavor. The packet, um, the fish fry is already seasoned, so you don't have to do this part. But I love the flavor, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more and then give that another mix. Get that all in there. Okay, guys, so what I did was just pour all of this into a bag you can use whatever bag i'm just using a walmart bag <clears throat> pour it all into there and you're going to take your fish dip, dip it in there get it nice nice and coated i'm going to make sure every part of that fish has that fish fry on it And so now what I'm going to do is I have my um, stove top fryer here. I'm just going to add these in. I'm going to add this one in and I'm going to do another one. I'm going to add a few pieces at a time. So hopefully this goes a little faster. I'm going to add that in there and I'm going to do another one. Now, if you guys follow this recipe exactly how I'm showing you, watch how that fish come out. I'm telling you, you ain't not going to make your fish no other way. Trust me. So, you want to do that. Yes, okay. Make sure all that fish got some of that fish fry on it. So I'm gonna add that one here. I think I can only fit two. I'm gonna overcrowd it. 
So I'm going to put those two in for now. Just like that. And I'm going to let that go for about five minutes. And then I'm going to come back and check it. Because it's fish. Fish does not take that long to fry. And these are pretty thin. So it also depends on how thick your fish is. But these are thin, like I said. So I'm going to let them go for like five minutes. And then I'll be back. Okay, guys. So after like five to seven minutes, this is how the fish should look it's really really nice and crispy so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these out put them on the plate to drain and i'm gonna put another batch in okay so i'm gonna do one more batch for y'all oh that's a big one so let's do this one make sure it's all coated Oh guys, I told you guys to use the onion. What I do with the onion is just cut up a few small pieces and add it into the oil while it's frying. And that gives the oil a really nice flavor, but I decided against it this time because I'm using this fryer. Um, I'm not using a regular um, pan, I'm using a deep fryer, so that's why I didn't use it. So, just like that, and I'm gonna add this in. And I'm going to add another one. Uh -oh. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a small piece. If you guys hear baby noises, I'm sorry. That's my um baby. I'm carrying her. I'm wearing her on my back because she is not letting me be great and make this video for y'all. So I have her in the carrier on my back. Okay, so I'm gonna add this one in. Try to fit it in there some way, somehow. All right, and I'm gonna dump this for another five minutes and then I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay guys, so once again, after about seven minutes, the fish is ready to come out. So I'm gonna put these on a plate, I'm gonna plate it up and I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like and I'm about to try it because it smells so good. Okay guys, so here is the fish. And so let me show you guys how you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a different piece because I don't wanna mess those up, they look pretty. So let me show you guys how you know the fish is done. Once it is nice and flaky, like this, you see all how it's flaky, it's nice and crispy, and that's how you know it's done. So, if you guys try this recipe, I'm telling you, try it with that mayonnaise, follow this exact recipe, and tell me how you like it. I bet you, you will not make your fried fish no other way. And this works with all different kinds of fish catfish, whiting, tilapia, it works with it all. So, try it and let me know how you like it. See you guys in the next video.